The Polads to me embody what, you know, is really the best about Minnesota philanthropy. Well, it got started through my parents' desire to formalize the process of giving. Our connection to the Polad Family Foundation goes back to the early part of this decade. It's always been about family and, and kind of a more casual way of, of approaching these kind of things. Well, they've been very generous to us in their own low-key way. <laughs> that focuses on you know, kids and families. As a domestic violence agency, we made a commitment almost 20 years ago to serving children. And really that's about prevention and early intervention. We do outdoor trips for people regardless of their physical or cognitive issues, also regardless of their socioeconomic backgrounds. youth that, that work here and you know we're kind of an employment machine in the summertime and you know this year with the recession and all of those difficulties we were holding back we thought oh my goodness we're gonna have a really rough year and didn't hire folks everybody was under severe economic stress 40 percent of the homeless population in in our area uh, is made up of battered women and their children our shelters are full the stay in shelter is longer foundations should maybe step up during this time in an extraordinary way. Those of us that were fortunate enough to have a grant last year got a wonderful letter that simply said, we're going to extend your grant for two years. And, you know, that was pretty much it. And that just doesn't happen. And we took a big chunk of principle and decided that it's more important to spend it now. And we thought, great, you know, we can go ahead and staff up and hire folks, and we did. You kind of get connection with an organization that is doing great work, and, and it just makes sense, and it feels right to kind of continue that. It's about helping those organizations over the long term.